Kiki scene is like a playground where it's more based on who you are, what you're bringing that night. Are you having fun? Are you having a good time? Are you expressing yourself? Are we building community? Are we laughing? A kiki means let's just have fun. Let's have a good time. The word kiki just meant we were hanging out or let's have a kiki. Like, you know, we're gonna get together and be with friends. You know, Arbert, who was the mother of the House of Latex at GMAC, he saw an opportunity to bring people together by providing what we, we used to call a kiki room. And it was just a small room where people would come and have meetings. They would have HIV, AIDS 101. I saw a lot of young people trying to get included into the ballroom scene, but often they didn't have the resources. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the experiences to guide them and navigate them through that community. They were so young, like babies. 12, 11, late nights, because these balls went on to like four or five in the morning, and I'm like, this is not a safe space for them. The first function we had Arbert was there. Arbert was like, Aisha, have a kiki ball. <laughs> Make up your fake houses on the spot. One of the first houses was the house of Lipton and house of D-Block. Those were the first two kiki houses. And when I say that they sold it, they sold it. And I was like, wow, this is an idea. It all came together organically. Aisha was having kiki functions at GMHC. I was having kiki functions at Hetrick Martin with Luna. So the young people were pulling pieces from each organization and spreading it and making it bigger. And it just expanded naturally in that way. Some of my goals were to make sure these kids were connected to care. Hiding the medicine and the food. Like getting HIV tested, getting STI tested, making sure that they were connected to getting safer sex material making sure that they were able to find a place to just come and hang out, you know, when they didn't want to be around their neighborhoods, where they didn't feel safe. And I did not know how big it was going to get. Other CBOs started coming around and like, how do we become a part of this? How do we also nurture the kids that are on our programs, that are interested in the ballroom scene, but may not be ready? and HMI was at the frontier of creating these programs with us. They're really one of the first organizations to really invest in LGBT youth ballroom programming. And before HMI took on that stance, it really was unheard of within any organization aside the House of Latex at GMHC. GMHC was for all, like, ages. HMI is so unique in the fact that it targets youth and young adults specifically. It offered all the things the kids needed underneath one roof. So that's what really empowered me when I got there. And I was like, oh, this is a whole world for our youth and young adults. If they walk into the door of your agency and they're at a kiki, you're most likely be able to work with them and look at them. So that's what I was doing. My job in the kiki scene was to create an environment where I was working, connecting with the young people, so then I could figure out, how can I help this one kid? They'll come up to us before we go to them. They'll say, Luna, Raul, Aisha, we need, or I need this support. You know, I slept on the train last night. That's when we go into action. And so Raul was doing programming empowerment, which was fab. And Aisha was, like me, continuing the legacy of Arbor Santana. And we miss and love him. He was one of the people that really kind of gave it the name. I think one of his biggest contributions was the way he mentored uh, the, you know, the kids in the community. He wanted them to be educated. He wanted them to be aware. He would love to see where some of the kids that he had under his guidance, where they are right now. And I, he would be so proud of it. Barbara's legacy is instilled in all of us because it's really the blueprint that he created. And so the four 
A buzz sort of created the environment, and an environment in safe space is important for young kids, LGBT kids, because they need it. They need space to be able to be themselves, and we gave them that opportunity. There's just so many, so many traits and so many skills and so many different things that ballroom have gave to the youth that allowed them to grow outside of ballroom because they never had that option to learn it through home. Without the KP scene, I wouldn't necessarily find my vote. So basically, I wouldn't necessarily find who I authentically want to become. One of the, the things that really stood out to me being part of Ballroom is resilience. And that no matter what the world gives you, honey, you can give it back. I mean, just to see people that maybe don't have anything, being able to like create magic from nothing, you know, that's resilience. It really creates that space of, I see you, you are worthy. Of course, the Kiki scene has evolved now. I call it Junior Varsity because they are very serious about it, right? <laughs> it's called Junior Varsity Ballroom. The needs of the scene definitely changes and evolves and grows as time goes by. I feel like right now it's a lot easier to get your name out there in Ballroom, and that's good because there's a lot less people that feel left out. The youth is leading the youth compared to leaders leading the youth. Leaders are being created and there's a movie called Kiki. I mean, the world knows about it. They are on red carpets at the Met Galas. <laughs> They're in advertisements. All of those kids that are doing all of this, the kids that are imposed to show, all of those people not only partook in Patrick Martin, but they're part of the community as a whole. Some of the lessons I've learned in ballroom and Kiki scene is really how to survive, how to be able to walk into a room and be prideful because I've already been celebrated by my community. You know, they're applauding me and I take that every single place that I go to. And that's important, you know, that sort of celebration that we do for each other. Yeah.